two mums and a camera. I'm here with my sister Shelly. And we've had a great summer, but we know fall is here and back to school. And we're, I don't know about you guys, but in Canada, it's hot in September. It's crazy Most weather. Most of the time, yeah, it's really hot now. So we're thinking of all those kids back to school suffering in this yeah. heat. It's well, not fun at all. With back to school comes um, a lot of, of issues for a lot of people. And um, today I just wanted to promote a book that I wrote um, about my daughter, Mandy. Uh, it's called The Painful Years, and it's a story about her high school bullying experience where she was actually taken out of school because of severe bullying. It was on the news, there was a, you know, a lot of media involved, we were on the radio, there, it was a big deal. And we kind of used it as an experience to kind of learn and um, you know, to tell her story and to, to know what to do when this type of thing happens. So the book is from a mom's point of view and I think it's very different than coming from her point of view. I think as moms we deal with so much stress when we watch our kids go back to school and you know watch as they suffer if there are issues mm -hmm. with friends or you know bullying experiences so um, I just wanted to to let you know about the book and I really hope that you download it and read it and share it. Um, it's I think it's really good for people that are being bullied. I think it's good for parents who have kids that are being bullied and I think it's really good for bystanders and people not knowing exactly what to do or what they should do when these things happen. How do people find the book? So it's online so if you go to jessievmerch.com um, it's oh. there. It's an ebook so literally you order it and it pops right up so it's not one of those things where you order and have to wait for it to arrive it actually pops right up so yeah I know that was it was many years ago now that all this went down Nikki's yeah. been working on this for a while six years yeah, yeah. and I think um, one of the take-homes that I got from the whole experience that you had was that sometimes you just need to protect your child and if they have to be out of school for a while or they have to graduate a year later or they have to be homeschooled or they have to do their safety comes first mm -hmm. and definitely. none of that really matters like you you get so oh my gosh if, if she doesn't finish this year then she's not going to graduate but you know none of that matters if your child isn't safe and um, as a parent sometimes we get caught up in that mm -hmm and you want so badly for everything to be okay that you kind of push it along the way and ultimately your child needs you to stand up for them Absolutely. at that moment. And at that particular time when all this was happening in our life, there was an actual event of a child who um, didn't make it out okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know, it was a very dramatic ending that ended in tragedy and my feeling at that particular time was that could have been my kid mm -hmm. and you know it's it's devastating and, and these things are happening every single day so what I would say to you is if you're a child and you're being bullied or you're being harassed by anybody you need to get help and you need to get support so go to somebody that you know that's going to do that for you um, because that's so important if you're a bystander you need to report it End of story. If you can't step up and help that person because you're afraid or you think you'll lose friends or any of those types of things, then at least go and report it privately and confidentially and do your part because you doing nothing is making you just as guilty and as bad as the bully who's standing there and, and is hurting mm -hmm. somebody else. Mm -hmm. What I'd like to see more of is kids get beside another child that's being hurt or bullied or somebody lonely in the cafeteria eating by themselves, go over and say, hey, would you like to join us? That would mean, that seems like nothing to a popular ch child who has everyone and everything around them, but to somebody who's alone and suffering, mm -hmm. that's everything to them, to that person. So that goes really well into um, the other thing we were going to talk about. <laughs> today um, during this past summer we brainstormed with um, some women as well um, that included Jesse B and mm -hmm. Mandy B and my daughter Megan and some other women that we all got together and, and tried to figure out some way that we could use what we had to meaning you know maybe social media or whatever use our gifts to help others and our ideas and one of the things that we kept coming back to is people feeling lonely people feeling alone we felt like regardless of whether you're talking about a child that's being bullied 
a child just starting college or university, an adult that's in a depressed state or going through, you know, a divorce or whatever, death or whatever, um, or a senior citizen in a nursing home. We, we realize that uh, when people feel alone, even if it's a perceived loneliness, that is sort of when a lot of things happen and it's hard to break out of that. Depression, anxiety, all that sort of thing um, can come from that perceived loneliness or actually being alone. And so um, we came up with the idea of a group called the YANA group. YANA standing for You Are Not Alone. And Jesse V has recently um, launched an Instagram and you can find it under YANA group, I believe. So if you go on Instagram and you type in YANA group, Y-A-N-A -A group, it should come up, you can follow it. We're gonna post just some ins inspirational things and maybe some um, start some topics that might be of interest and uh, we've only done one so far this is brand brand new uh, but we've had some great comments yeah and um, the comments that we've had make us feel like this is necessary and it's good and it could work so uh, please check it out yeah check it out and be a good friend this year just try to, to find somebody who's alone and make them just talk to somebody make them feel better about being yeah. at school being away from it could be a college or university um, in a new place a new town a new city whatever it's just really important that we're kind to each other especially in a world yeah. that's so cruel and hostile at times I think that we and can make the difference the, one of the things I want to stress with that is that if you try it and it doesn't work Say you try talking to somebody and they shut you down and they're like, give, give you a look like, why are you talking to me? Like, don't be discouraged. That's one person. Mm -hmm. Try, try again. It's so hard to do it, but I honestly, I know there are rewards there. Everybody has people that will be like them and will be their friends and support them. You just got to find those people. And um, hopefully we can help you to do that through a group like this. So... Yeah. Uh, Check it out. Yeah. Check out my book. I hope you enjoy it. And cheers. Happy fall. Enjoy your going back to school. <laughs>